Several months ago on a whim, I decided to figure out how much money I spent every month coloring my hair, which at that time was very long and very red. And it came out to about a dollar and a half a day. And quite frankly, I thought that was just fine. I'd probably pay double that. Then a couple of months later, I saw you talking about one of your ministries in India where you were feeding children for 15 cents a day, teaching them to read and exposing them to the Word of God. And I realized I could be feeding 10 children a day for what I was spending to color my hair. So, of course, I did the godly thing. I said, sir, surely, Lord, you are not asking me for my hair. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes seeds get planted that won't go away. And I prayed about it, and I rehearsed it over and over again for months. And finally, three weeks ago, I cut it off, and I gave it away. I really loved my hair. You know... <laughs> My eyes are too close set and my bottom's too flat and my nose has got a little bump in it, but my hair, it was very reliable. It looked good. It was my trademark. I loved my hair. <laughs> what it really boiled down to, Joyce, was I imagined myself standing before the throne. And I couldn't imagine getting there and going, thank goodness, I kept my hair red all those years. <laughs> but I could imagine just maybe meeting one of those children there. Awesome. That is good.